What's going on guys, Xenon the Boss here, and today I am going to talk about five original killers that I would love to see in Dead by Daylight. All right, let's jump right into this video, guys. Here are my top five original killers I would love to see in Dead by Daylight. The first killer I want to see in Dead by Daylight is the werewolf. He would look like a beast-like creature, have tons of fur, and I want to see his walk animation be him being on four legs. I think it would be really sick to see a killer be able to just crawl around normally, like just not walk on two legs. His weapon would be his claws, uh, kind of like Demogorgon. Uh, the map would be an abandoned camp or town. I think that would be fitting for the werewolf. And for their power, I want the werewolf to crawl up walls. I think seeing a killer crawl up walls would be really amazing. The reason being is that would make L wall, T walls a lot more unpredictable for the survivor when in the chase with the werewolf. That would be so cool. Just imagine you working on a gen and then you just see this beast like creature crawl up the wall. Now, I'm sure there'll be there, there, there should be some end lag when he crawls up the wall. That way it's not too OP for the killer. And that way it's a little balanced for the survivor too. So it's uh, balanced on both sides. So as the, the werewolf is crawling up the wall, when he lands, he'll have end lag when he lands. So he can't just immediately claw you when he lands because uh, that would be OP. And uh, for their Mori, I could imagine the werewolf just like quickly lunging onto the survivor biting the survivor's head like latching onto the survivor's head and then shaking them around violently and then you just see like these blood parts and brain parts fly across the screen that would be really cool and fitting for the werewolf now for my second killer for my second original killer i would love to see is the siren her weapon would be like really cool because it would be her her screaming at the survivor and the reason why this would be really sick to see is because no other killer uses sound to attack a survivor. So I think that would be really interesting to add into Dead by Daylight. Her map would be like an aquarium. I think adding an aquarium would be a really cool map visually. Because you could just see like all the fish in the tank or if they wanted to they could add like sharks. And it would just be really cool to see. And not to mention if they wanted to make the map dark, which would make sense. You could turn on the gens and then you could see the fish better in the dark or have like jellyfish glowing uh, when it's dark. And then when you turn the lights on, the jellyfish go back to normal. Like that would be really cool. They could do some really cool visual stuff with an aquarium map, I think. Now for her power, it could involve like pools or puddles of water scattered around the map. That's that's what I'm kind of imagining. Uh, she can either teleport to these pools or puddles kind of like hag but the thing that makes this different is this is going to sound crazy but when she activates the ability button she's going to spawn a fake gen it's not a real gen and and if the survivor is working on this fake gen the siren can teleport to her illusion she gets notified that the survivor is working on the gen kind of like whenever a survivor messes up a gen i think that would be really crazy uh to just have fake gens on the map that would add a whole different kind of mind game i'm not sure if it would be overpowered because maybe i don't know maybe there could be like subtle signs that it's fake if you like stay around it for for a while you see like water splash or something like that and then maybe she can have add-ons that could like counteract that i don't know i think that would just be really cool to see fake gens in the map and uh, have like a whole different kind of mind game that survivors have to be really careful on what gens they start working on with this killer. So now for the sirens, Mori, I would, I, I, I see them like hypnotizing the survivor. I think that would be really cool if the siren hypnotizes the survivor because like that would actually make sense because that's what sirens do. And it would like show the survivor their desires and to like show this, have their eyes like change into uh, like a bright blue uh glow and have them walk towards the siren as she like you know beckons them to come towards her and as she signals them to come closer she then screams super loud into the survivor's ear like deafening them 
and then she's, she uh, opens up her mouth with these like razor shark like teeth and then she like eats their face. I think that would be really cool. Now for my third original killer, I would want to see is the vampire. His weapon would be like a lunge bite. I think it would be really different and awesome to see this kind of killer in Dead by Daylight because their their power could be just them flying into the air for a certain period of time. Now I know that some of you or most of you probably would think that like maybe it's too OP for a killer to fly into the air and you would be right but let's have it to where it has like a certain period of time like a like a cooldown probably a, a while <laughs> cooldown if he can fly into the air for a long time or just have it to where he can fly into the air for like a short time like you can't just like fly across the map kind of like billy uh but if if they did go that route and he could fly across the map like billy just make it a very long cooldown that i think it could be balanced i think you could make a flying killer balanced uh just just be able to have him fly for a certain period of time i think the short bursts of flying would be better than like long periods of flying because if you could fly for a long time as a killer you would just be able to see survivors if they were hiding anywhere unless they're in the locker uh now their map would be transylvania i think it would be really cool to see like a castle like map in the dead by daylight and their mori i could see them flying into the survivor right and then they bite their neck draining all their blood then after their blood's drained the vampire just punches his hand through the survivor's chest and then like rips out their heart now i know that sounds like super crazy and like gory but i think it would be really cool to see uh more gory survivor uh, more gory moris in this game i don't i don't know if the devs are comfortable with doing that it doesn't seem like they go too crazy with the moris but i I'm, I'm pretty sure they could because this game is rated m so i don't know i just would like to see gory or maurice i think that would make this uh i think that would make maurice a lot more intense and and fit the the like scariness of dead by daylight now for my my fourth killer i would definitely want it to be a shapeshifter uh the shapeshifter would have a weapon that would be pretty unique to see because he would just change his hand he would shapeshift his hand into a mace there's no maces in Dead by Daylight, so I think seeing a mace would be pretty cool. Uh, and if somehow they could, I would want them to add like a military base as as the, the shapeshifters map. That's what their map would be, is a military base. It would work too, because as you're working on the gens, uh, the military base lights up and more lights go. So it would be like an indoor slash outdoor map. So like you can have a military base on the inside and then like have the airstrip on the outside. I don't know, I think it'd be really interesting to have like an indoor and a outdoor map kind of thing going with a military base. Anyways, the killer's power would be to shapeshift into any survivor on the map. I know you guys are going to say, if, but what if it's a four-man? If it's a four-man, yeah, that, that would counter his power pretty crazily. But I feel like it could still work if you just hit the survivor quick enough maybe the killer can shape shift into the survivor and then before the four-man group can say hey that's not me you can get a quick hit uh i feel like that's what they were trying to do with the legion if you guys remember uh the legion's trailer he tricked david into thinking he was a survivor and i think everyone thought that he was going to be a shapeshifter maybe that's what he was actually supposed to be but dead by daylight devs hit the hit the reset button on that one and came up with the backup plan of legion just running around and stabbing people unfortunately that that's a very unfortunate because i would have loved to see a shapeshifter but i think because of that reason of like the four man uh maybe that's why they didn't go with the shapeshifting idea uh either way uh, i don't know it'd just be really cool to see the see a shapeshifter come into dead by daylight uh, their Mori would be, like, the shapeshifter would shift into a giant bear, mauling the survivor. I think that would be awesome and unique to see a killer shapeshift into an animal. And now, for my final original killer. This one, I'm actually very passionate about, because I have put a lot of thought into this one. I would love to see a killer called the Reaper. His weapon would be his scythe, and his map would be a spooky graveyard. 
I'm surprised there's no graveyard map added into Dead by Daylight yet. And for his power idea, I came up with it. I came up with it pretty crazily, actually. It would be really interesting to see for the Reaper's power, he would be able to hide in shadows. Like his whole character model blends in with shadows. Every dark corner or dark spot, he could potentially be there. And if it's like a bright map, like Coldwind Farm, or even if he's playing on a dark map, he can spawn shadows to blend into, as well as him blending into just shadows on the map in general. This will allow him to get the jump on survivors. His power has a second part to it. This part is actually really crazy. Any survivor that's within his terror radius while he's cloaked into a shadow will be inflicted with a new status effect I like to call Time's Up. When a survivor is inflicted with Time's Up, there will be a bar that fills up gradually as they play the game. When this bar fills up all the way, the survivor starts seeing fake versions of the Reaper scattered around in every shadow. Kind of like the Doctor's uh, fake illusions, but the difference is with this one is the Reaper can then activate uh, activate these fake reapers to try and attack the survivor so basically these apparitions these fake apparitions of the reaper can actually attack and chase the survivor this can be used for pressure or mind games also the way the survivors can counter this can counter this uh status effect of times up is if they heal other survivors a certain amount of times so basically the reaper's power forces survivors to be more altruistic Altruism slows down the timer. The timer doesn't completely go away. It just slows it down or pauses it as it ticks down. I think that would be just so sick to have a status effect like that. Like, that would be really cool. Now, for the Reaper's Mori, the Reaper points at his wrists, indicating the survivor that they're out of time. Then he gets in their face and stabs his scythe, scythe up the survivor's chin, piercing through their head. I hope you guys enjoyed my top 5 original killers list. If so, remember to plop a like on this video, jiggle that notification bell, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. And with that, I'll catch you guys in my next video.